I am at a very interesting place today. I'm with Bethany, and Bethany, please tell everybody where we are today. We are in uh, the flower market down on Swana Island where um, wholesale florists and growers ha sell their product to florists. So you have to have a buyer's pass to be able to come in here. And this big room that we're in is just growers. So um, lots of us have stall spaces here. And so this is our product that we bring up and we um, start in about early April and we'll have product here throughout the year, but really fresh product until like mid-December. Wow. And that's when we pretty much quit for the year and then sort of have drieds, but then we start again in the, in the spring. That is incredible. So your, your business, you have how many acres at your place in Eugene? We have 35 acres, all wow. cut flowers, all specialty cut flowers. And really, you have such a diverse amount here. It's not just annual flowers. You have all different kinds. So maybe tell us a little bit about sure. the varieties. Yep. So there are annuals like Asclepius and Celosia, but then we also have conifers that we, we have, and this is a, a cryptomeria. This is a, a eucalyptus back here, oh, which pretty. is... And the aromas, back. the fragrances are wonderful. We always say we wish we had smell-o-vision because <laughs> there's just this, this essence here. And you even have um, cut scented geraniums. Yep, we, have, uh, we grow about 10 different varieties of scented geraniums. We take cuttings of them every year and pro propagate them and bring them back year after year. Um, we do uh, lots of different kinds of herbs. So this is a Burgarten sage, and we have probably about 10 different kinds of mints as well. Um, but more annuals, there's amaranths and snapdragons, and this is a, a perennial, I believe. Um, I don't remember its true name, we just call it bunny tails. <laughs> That's a great uh, one. You know, you just don't think of all these different things that florists would like. You think florists use, they use um, calla lilies, and they use moms, and they use roses. But this kind of diverse amount of flowers is really interesting, and they must have so much fun when they come and see you. They really do. They really do. And it's fun to make the displays so that we're in color cues, so that uh, florists who are coming in to do their events, they're like, I'm in this color palette. And so they will come in and just grab whole buckets. It's, it's really fun. You know, 5.30 in the morning is a madhouse here. We can't keep up with our with um, everybody. What's so interesting about all this is it's, oh, all these growers are local growers and it's about the slow flower movement that's really popular. It's really happening now. Yeah, it's very exciting that the slow flower movement started because people were buying flowers from all over the world and they didn't even realize it. And so it's, really important to support your local grower. You know, this is how we make a living and we love farming. Um, so many people don't get to do what they love anymore <laughs> because it's been outsourced. Right. So bringing it back, reminding people that, you know, we're like the slow food movement started. Exactly. Slow flowers flower too. movement. We're not feeding your belly, but we're feeding your soul. <laughs> your soul, definitely. With these flowers. And it's, it's really great to be able to find uh, and grow really crazy things that we we can actually do here in the Willamette Valley. You right. Know? And there is a website to go to, so you can't come here to buy anything, but you can go to the website and find florists in your area to go to. And after the commercial break, I will be talking to a florist, and she's going to talk about these beautiful flowers and how you can have them at your home, too. Thanks so much, Bethany. Thank you very much.